Hey guys, what is up? This is Astro592 and today we'll be taking a look at the top 5 captains to play as of patch 2.2. There were quite a bit of changes this patch, a lot of nerfs and buffs to some of our favorite champions and even though the captain's role hasn't changed and no one really got nerfed, the top 5 have changed a bit. So if you guys end up enjoying this video and you want me to continue doing this for future patches, let me know by simply smashing that like button and maybe down in the comments. Tell me if you agreed with my tier list or did I miss someone. With everything being said, let's get started. Alright, so coming at number 5, we have the only black man on the fold, Lance. Now Lance is one of the champions that got heavily targeted this patch. With nerfs to almost his entire kit, he has definitely fallen from the number 1 spot. Some of the nerfs include the decrease of his root duration on his A skill Impale, the stun duration and crystal ratio on his B skill Gideon Wall, as well as his base stats. Even with the above mentioned nerfs, I still feel like he's in an okay spot right now and definitely a viable pick, so if you're good on him, I recommend playing him. So next up we have our favorite river troll Finn. So Finn I think is a champion who is pretty underrated this patch. Even though his stats and win rate are great, I'm not seeing him being played a lot, specifically in lower elos. He's a tanky frontliner with lots of sustain and good CC, who actually adds a lot to any team comp he's picked in. But more importantly, when he hits that level 6 mark and has access to his ultimate, his pick and initiation potential goes through the roof and everything becomes super easy. I generally feel that he's in a really good spot right now and if you understand the champion and know what you're doing, I recommend playing him. Coming at the number 3 spot is gonna be Katrina. So Katrina is one of the champions that got a few buffs this patch, mainly to her A skill, Merciless Pursuit. The cooldown, stun duration, damage and speed boost duration of this skill has all been increased. Secondly, the deflect damage on her B skill, Stormguard, has also increased, making her even more of a monster during those early engagements. Lastly. The damage and silence duration on her ultimate blast strummer has increased as well, but this mainly applies when the skill is overdriven. It's a buff, so we'll take it. So to all the captain mains out there, the, the ones who actually build fountain and not attack damage, we love you by the way, I definitely recommend playing her as she is a really OP pick right now. So at the number 2 spot we have Adego. Personally, he's one of my favorite champions. I play him all the time in the carry position, but recently he's been seeing a lot of success in the captain's position. Nothing has really changed about Adego just yet. I personally think he's still among the best champions currently in Vainglory and has been for the past several patches. He's a great flex pick, he has great early game pressure potential, he has a heal, a slow, his AoE damage and potential CC in team fights is really good. All in all, he's just genuinely strong. And the number one spot goes to Lyra. So Lyra is a really strong pick because she has a ridiculous amount of sustain in her kit and she's able to disrupt and make the lives of the current meta carries like Ringo, Adego and maybe even Baron just a living hell. Players don't really seem to have the best answer when dealing with Lyra and she's insanely obnoxious to face especially if a player understands the champion and knows what they're doing. I personally hate seeing Lyra because her early game pressure is so insane, she makes me lose a lot of my CS and gets free poke in as well. I feel what Lyra's kit provides in the current meta is really OP and that's why she's the number one pick on my list. And now just a quick honorable mention on Fortress. So Fortress is another underrated pick. I've been keeping an eye on him and his win rate is really good. I think he's actually better than most players think he is. Also, some players are probably playing him a bit wrong, specifically in lower elos and that's what's making him seem so bad. To be honest, he's a tanky diver who jumps into and disrupts team fights, is annoying as balls and does tons of damage as well. Applying early pressure with him is important as he can feel a bit lackluster if behind. I recommend playing him if your team comp is all about that early game pressure or invades. Alright guys, that's my tier list according to the matches I've played and information gathered from being glorious team tier players who have more experience with the current meta. Hopefully this helps you guys when choosing which champions to play in solo queue. 
so smash that like button, share this video as it will greatly help my channel to grow and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. This is Astro592 and I'll see you guys next time.